Hey guys, welcome back. I am here on this Sunday that is slowly turning into hazy, hot, and humid because I think it's going to rain later. But anyway, this wig is on point by Raquel Welch Wigs. Now, I already did a review of this wig, but the review that I'm doing now isn't necessarily about the wig. It's about the color. And the color is bronzed sable. Um, the technical color is RL6 slash 28. Now, um, I was looking for a brunette color that would be more um, cool toned friendly because as much as I love this wig, I wanted to try to find, um, how can I say, a cool toned color for me. I have her in Honey Toast. That is not a cool toned blonde. Um, I think it's more of a warm tone. So I decided to order a brunette shade because simply put, I like brunette wigs. Um, my husband loves me in brunette wigs. As much as I love blonde wigs for the summer, I have a tendency to kind of like the way I look in brunette simply because my, my bio hair, well, it was, it was black and I can't dye it. Well, actually when I did dye my hair black, it looked harsh. Like you really need to go a couple of steps lighter. So when I saw this shade online, I was like, wow, you know what? I think it's a great looking shade. I don't know if it's going to work for my cool toned skin. So I ordered it. I ordered it from Sister Wigs. By the way, I'm a fan of Sister Wigs. I think that their customer service is fabulous. And I also am a fan of Heather's Color Spotlights. I do not buy a wig unless I look at Heather's Color Spotlight first. So I did look at the color spotlight and I liked it, but I was still unsure. I was like, okay, is this going to be for me? Is this going to be the right color? Lo and behold, I have it. Now, how can I put this? I like this shade and I like this shade for um, when I still have a tan or for a summer evening out with the husband who loves brunette, but it still is a little on the warm side. It's not a cool toned wig. I would say it is cool toned friendly, but it's not a specific cool toned wig. So that's one of the things that I want to touch upon. We all have different skin tones. And regardless of what our skin tone is, there's usually a color or a shade for everybody. Um, my wish is that I, I seriously do wish that Raquel Welch wigs had a more cool, cooler, skin tone friendly brunette shade. Um, I'm not knocking the brand because trust me, I think Raquel Welch makes a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. But this is just my opinion. Um, if there are any other women out there who are cool toned and feel the same way, please let me know. And let me know what shades you think in the Raquel Welch line could possibly be a cool tone brunette. Um, I will wear this. It's not like I'm not gonna wear it. And it's not a deal breaker because I do like the color, but I'm just saying it's not the perfect cool 
toned brunette. And I think that's a kind of issue with a lot of wig brands. You don't see a lot of brunettes and the brunettes that they do have are definitely more warm tone friendly. Um, I will say Henry Margot makes beautiful brunettes. Aesthetica Designs makes beautiful brunettes. Um, those are my two favorite brunette brand wigs, Margot and Aesthetica. The other brands, I'm kind of like, oh, come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. And that's how I feel about um, Hair You Wear, who does make the Raquel Welch wigs. It's like, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Like, do it. Just do it. Make a cool toned brunette. I don't think it should be that hard. Um, Brunettes of the world, stand up and unite, especially if you're cool toned. Not everybody is neutral toned or warm toned. It's basically my plea to you. Um, you know, that's it. Everybody loves a blonde. And I think blondes are flattering to so many women. Actually, I think blondes are attractive on all women. Um, if you are Latina and have that beautiful caramel skin, blonde works. If you are an African-American woman and even have the darkest skin tone, blonde looks so incredibly great. And for my skin tone, there's always an ashy blonde that will really, really look good on a cool skin tone. But brunettes are another story. A lot of times the brunettes have a tendency to fall into the red category and not all of us are meant for red hair trust me i'm of irish descent and red hair does not look good on everybody with irish blood in the south of ireland we're all dark and i'm one of the dark ones so we need cooler toned but seriously like with all with all of the advancements that wigs have made throughout the years, now we have mono tops, we have lace front wigs, we have wigs that don't look wiggy, we have fibers that are heat defiant, we have fibers that look more natural, we have wavy wigs, curly wigs, straight wigs, we have wigs that are a little bit messy looking. Like there's so many great qualities to today's wigs, especially for women who need them. Um, but it's still a matter of that brunette color. I think a lot of wig companies need to be a little bit more brunette friendly. Um, again, this is on point. I absolutely love this wig and I am awaiting a third. Hey, Jameson, you have some competition here, but I'm awaiting a third because I found a beautifully ashy blonde color. So I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I know many of you may not agree with me. Um, this is by no means um, disrespecting hair you wear or Raquel Welch wigs. This is just a matter of saying, can't you make a color that's more cool tone friendly for brunettes? Because I think the brunette wigs um, are basically how can I say this? The kind of ignored wigs of the wig world because there are so many blondes and we are getting more and more grays by the minute. Yay, gray! But it's those darker colors that I think there are issues with. Um, even with black, I never order a 1 or a 1B because they do look harsh against my skin tone, even though my original skin my original hair color was black. The one and one B just doesn't do it. You need to go lighter. But I'm sure that there are many of you who feel the same way that I do. We need cool tone brunettes. So that's it. If I come across as like, I'm complaining, 
my apologies. It's just my opinion. That's it. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. And I'm going to be back with a surprise. Bye-bye.